Here are your up-to-date Big Ten softball standings. Northwestern, Nebraska separated by just a half game at the top. The Wildcats with one win more than Nebraska this season. And look who is in third place, the Illini at 12 and four in conference on the year. One of just three teams along with Northwestern and Nebraska to reach the 30 overall win mark. And that 30th and most recent win came on Wednesday night and it was another gem from left-handed hurler Tory McQueen, seven innings pitch, gives up just one hit and strikes out eight, going the route to give the Illini an easy win over DePaul. And coming out that performance, Tory is kind enough to join us from Champaign. I have to know, going into that one hitter, how early in the game did you know you had your best stuff? Um, I would say in warm-ups, I felt really good. The ball was moving very well. And I just knew that if I had, like, my attack mentality and just threw my pitches, that would be good because my defense was behind me, and I knew that our offense would be ready to go as well. Yeah, you guys were absolutely rolling. The game was in hand, and it was a gem, as the Twitter account said. But the one hit you give up is with two outs in the seventh. As a pitcher, are you always wondering what if you're one out away from the no-hitter? Uh, honestly, I didn't even really pay that much attention to that. I was just trying to get my outs but it is kind of like looking back I was like oh just one pitch that kind of changed that one pitch still an absolute gem as the Twitter account said all right when you are going well Tori how do you know it how are your best pitches moving um I have a lot of pitches that break up and it's like pretty late break so it's like hard for hitters to hit and then with and off speed now that kind of sets me up to help how if at all do you change your approach when you're facing some of the best hitters in the league because there are some hitters in this league whether you're talking about hitters like rachel lewis or billy andrews or kayla conwent hitters that are really patient but can take you yard if you make a mistake so what's your approach when you're facing hitters like that honestly i approach them as the same as any hitter I just have that attack mentality and just if I, I know if I just throw my pitches that I'll be fine. What have you learned over your year plus in Champaign with this program from Sydney Sickles? Uh, I've learned a lot from her. She's actually one of my roommates. So I have the opportunity to talk to her a lot and she is very, very good. And I look up to her a lot. So when you're not talking softball, share with us what you guys talk about. Um, we honestly talk about everything. We talk about school. We talk about like our friends and family. And then we also talk about like God. Is there any kind of unspoken language or things that you guys can talk about as pitchers that no one else on the team can really understand? Um, I would say, yeah, because like sometimes like the pressure really is like on us a lot because we have the ball every single pitch. So we kind of like understand that aspect of it more than maybe like an outfielder or something like that. Now, sometimes I know pitchers can be a bit quirky, have superstitions, game day rituals, things that have to go in just one way. Do any of those apply to you? Do you have superstitions or game day rituals that you absolutely have to abide by or you're kind of thrown off? Yeah, I have to have at least two braids in my hair <laughs> every single game day. All right, so what's the genesis of that? How did that get started, and why have you stuck to it for so long? Um, I pitched well whenever I had, like, two braids in my hair and, like, a ponytail, so I just stuck with that. Now, you do realize, I mean, in the deep-seated knowledge is that that has nothing to do with how your pitchers are moving when you throw them. You're well aware of this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, fair enough. I just wanted to clear the air. Um, Tori, it seems like you have a lot of fun when you're out there. What is the personality of this team, and how much does fun apply to the success that you guys have had on the field? Uh, we have a very good team chemistry, so that helps a lot. Like, we know that if someone makes an error, that someone else is going to pick them up. We know that even if we start off, like, slow, our offense will come. We have, and then, like, behind the pitchers, like, our defense will always like step up and make the plays that need to be made. And then if someone's having like an off day, someone's always there to pick them up. How would you describe, what's the best word or sentence to kind of describe what the overall personality is this of this team is both on and off the field? Um, I would say fun. 
All right, Everyone's so just... then who's the personality captain? Who's the player that's kind of usually in charge of making sure that everybody is on the same page? Um, I would say Gabby. She's always super, super happy, and she always makes sure that everyone has, like, energy. She's always screaming and being crazy in the dugout. Obviously, whatever she is doing, whatever all of you guys are doing, it's working. You've won 14 after your last 17. After what I would say was kind of a slower-than-expected start to the year, did something specific change, or how much was it just players feeling more comfortable with their roles? Um, I think that everyone just really bought in all the way and was ready and had that attack mentality, and everyone really just has accepted their roles, whether it's uh, keeping a chart or playing every single game. All right, last one for you, Tori. You sit two games in the loss column behind the conference leaders right now in Northwestern and Nebraska. Indiana and Penn State are left on your Big Ten schedule. You guys will be favorites in both of those series. So what will it take to catch the leaders, and how do you guys play well enough to do that? I think we just need to stay focused and keep our attack mentality and just keep fighting and the rest will just come. Well, if you and Sydney keep throwing complete game one hitters, I think you're in pretty good shape. Tori McQueen, terrific pitcher for Illinois. Tori, we appreciate the time. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. All right, time for one final break here on Big Ten.